Hey guys, how are you? Hope you're all having a splendid day. Uh, splendid is a pretty cool word, and then that kind of makes me feel like I'm smarter, so I'm going to say it. Hope you're all having a splendid day here in Australia. It's night, very late at night, but like usual, it's my only time where I have free lately. So I thought I'll do another video for you all. So hopefully you're waiting with anticipation in what I have to do um, to deliver tonight. Now tonight's not going to be a review or a DVD update. I've looked to change it up a little bit and I'm going to be doing another top 10. Haven't done a top 10 for a while so I thought I'll do one now. Now this is my favourite horror comedies, um, splatter sort of gore fest films. Now I don't want anybody replying saying, oh why didn't you include my favourite film or why didn't you put this film in there and why isn't my film number one. Uh, this is a matter of opinion. I haven't seen uh, some of the more well-known horror comedies, so if I haven't included them, chances are I haven't seen them, and uh, or or else you know I just didn't like them that much. So it's all a matter of opinion. Don't get angry. I know a few of you out there may get angry, but as far as I go, my enjoyment levels. I've picked out a top ten, and regardless of whether or not you agree, that's up for debate. If you want to do a video response or a comment and tell me what you think and what your favourite films are, then feel free. But as I said, it's all a matter of opinion, and if we all felt the same, it wouldn't be interesting. So this is my top ten, and I hope you enjoy this video. I'll get onto it before I uh, ramble on anymore. Now, number ten, to kick things off, I'm going to go from number ten to one. Number ten is a film I'd never heard of, and if it wasn't for my good friend to send me this, um, from the kindness of his heart, I probably would never have seen it, which is a great shame because it's very, very underrated. This is the Irish horror comedy, Dead Meat. I really like the Irish sense of humour. Um, it really does relate to me. Um, Australians have similar sort of taste in humour. Um, combined with great gore, makes a very uh, memorable movie. And I've watched this a few times, and I love it. And it certainly deserves a top ten. So this gets uh, number ten. Check it out if you haven't done so already. I did a review of this on the House of Horror. So, Dead Meat, number 10. Uh, number 9 is Peter Jackson's earliest film, and this is Bad Taste. For the budget it had, for the gore to be that good was absolutely outstanding. I felt it was very silly, but at no stage does it take itself seriously, and it definitely deserves number 9. Number eight. Now, I'm sure I'm going to get a few opinions on this one because this is a treasure to a lot of people. But as far as I'm concerned, it was a good film, but I just didn't like it as much as a lot of people did. I felt it was a tiny bit overrated, and that film is The Evil Dead. Now, this is a really good addition to get. It's a two-disc. comes in a slipcase. I'm not going to get it out. But, uh, yeah, good film. I just didn't find it overly funny. I mean, the gore effects were very good for its time. But I'm really happy to have it in my collection, it's, but it just really didn't do it uh, for me as it did for a lot of people out there. So that's number eight. I know this is going to be a controversial decision, but as I said, this is as far as I'm concerned. So, um, yeah, Evil Dead, number eight. Now we've got number seven is a New Zealand film. This is much more modern than early Peter Jackson. This is a direct homage to Peter Jackson, though, and that is called Black Sheep. The first time I saw this, I didn't care for it, but I many years passed, and I've recently purchased this. I gave it another go, and I really enjoyed it. It's got great gore, and the humour's there, and I'm pretty sure, you know, I don't really remember why I didn't like it so much to start with, but I probably just had the wrong sort of mindset going into it. But really, really enjoyable, and it's really good gore as well. So it's about killer sheep, and if you haven't seen it, I would strongly recommend you go out there and get it. Six, we have The Cottage, a British horror comedy. I actually felt that this was better than Hatchet. I didn't really find Hatchet funny at all, and I think I can relate more to the British sense of humour. It really does have similarities with Australian, so I enjoyed this one a lot more than Hatchet. I thought the gore in Hatchet was better, but the gore in this film is still good, but where it gets the nod of approval above or ahead of um, Hatchet is the fact that I found this one very funny. So, um, yeah, number six. Number five, we have an American film called Slither. Very underrated film. I really found this funny. It was a great film. I've watched it numerous times, and that tells you something. It's kind of a throwback to 1950s sort of horror with these um, alien slugs. 
Really good practical effects mixed in with some pretty good CGI. So I would highly recommend it if you haven't checked it out already. Very, very funny and one of the better American horror comedies out there. Quite disgusting too, so I would recommend you don't eat while watching this one. Make sure that stack doesn't fall. Number four, Peter Jackson's Brain Dead. Great gore, especially at the end. Really enjoyed it. I uh, didn't enjoy it as much as a lot of people did, but I still, you know, it's, it has a special place for me because, uh, yeah, really good practical gore effects and Peter Jackson's best film in my opinion. Just got to make sure this stack doesn't fall because if it does, I've got a lot of cleaning up to do. Number three, Shaun of the Dead. Really enjoyed this. One of the first horror comedy films that I actually bought, so... Uh, once again, British humour really does appeal to me more than any other sort of humour around the world. Two, we have a film I only watched recently and I loved it. Um, I thought it was very, very funny and great gore as well. Reanimator. Uh, you all know about this, so I'm not going to even bother talking about it. But yeah, number two in my favourite horror comedies. And then we have my favourite horror comedy, and I absolutely adore this film. I thought, you know, it had similarities with The Evil Dead. I think it was better than The Evil Dead. Having said that, you know, I'm not saying it was a better film, but for me, it was a better film, and it was more enjoyable. So I'm not slagging off all The Evil Dead fans out there, but as far as I'm concerned, this is my favourite horror comedy. It's from Norway, so it's spoken in Norwegian language, English subtitles. I know a few of you out there can't stand that sort of thing, so I apologise. But number one in my favourite horror comedy list is Dead Snow. Zombie Nazis getting hacked up by chainsaws and axes. What more can you ask for? Just a really, really fun time with some really good gore. Really nasty, and I absolutely love this one. And, um, yeah, so number one, I know this may uh, surprise a few people, but, you know, uh, yeah, you're more than welcome to um, share your thoughts on this list. But as far as I'm concerned, uh, this is number one in my collection as far as horror comedies go. Righto, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video, and as I said, um, hopefully uh, you agree with some of the selections that I've made, and if you don't, well, you're more than welcome to argue your point. So um, that's it for tonight. Hope you all have a ripper of a day, and until next time, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you later.